All right. All right. What time is that over with? I don't want to go golfing before I have to go back to work, dude. I didn't mean golfing. I, I love, let's substitute the word golfing for drinking. Why don't you come over here and bring some more liquor? Because mine's almost gone. That's what I meant to say. All right. Yeah. That's like trying to go to Pancake House right now. You never get in. Denny's don't even exist anymore because the yuppies around here in California have taken over the Denny's and made them into a egg yolk supreme egg egg white girl. So what's the name of your horse again? River Runner. River Runner. When's when's she gonna run? When's she gonna run? I mean, are she still like a? She's a two-year-old filly, so she has to go one more year before she's a three-year-old filly, right? Oh. Right. So she's like a a preemie. She's like a preemie baby. Oh, but hey, not to change the subject, but you don't mind taking care of a pregnant dog uh, dog for the first six or eight weeks of her pregnancy, do you? Kind of like you're like the dog. You're not like the dog whisperer. You're like the like a uh, a surrogate father to yes we need you i'm trying to help jeff and tams right now and it's it's difficult because they're getting kicked out of their apartment well because they have a dog and dogs are fucking like the devil and they need somebody to take their dog so they can get a new apartment yeah yeah no jeff killed it <laughs> he murdered it. He murdered it. But we'll move beyond that. My friend is a dog killer. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, Kina. Well, you know what? I I offered to, you know, that little dog right there. We could go. Let's go Denver, and we just take a little ride up to Quimac or something. Stop by the side of the road. Wham, 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 blam! Like fucking five loads of buckshot. She'll be dead as fuck, and the crows will eat her and her babies, and it'll be over with. We come home, we cry for her loss, and then yeah, shoot them too. Shoot all the babies, all the, anything that moves, just kill it. And, you know, you put the whole box in it if you have to, but Denver's really small, dude. She'll die, she'll die in the first impact. But then Jeff gets the apartment. I think it's a really cool way to go. It's not dog abuse. I thought he was going to go ahead. But next time I'm fine, I don't know. That was Scott talking about my house. You know what? I mean, you know, I don't know if you want to go to the dog. 
Um, no, of course not. He's he's a fucking what's a procrast what's it called? A scofflaw. He was a scofflaw from the fucking day one, but that doesn't matter. Well, I'm thinking, well, yeah, they, they must have got all the units full now, and they, yeah, they figured they could kick him out and they'll sell that unit right away. Maybe there was a whole bunch of them empty when he moved in. I don't know. But, um, wow, I think you should just leave it to Toronto. They, they've always had two dogs, so, you know. That's a great idea. No, he will. He will deny ownership. He's going to go on Marty Povitz. I am not the father. I said take him to Ziggy's house and let him live over there, and then let them go to Marty Povich. You'll never blame the black dog for pregnancy. No, because they don't fool around. Black dogs don't fool around. Uh, yeah, it's all the, the little Mexican brown dogs. Yeah. Guess the, uh, chat bravery. <laughs> hey. Yeah, the, uh, the, 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 Jeff, do you want to talk to Ricky? I'm, a, I'm almost going to say I'm 100% going to stay home today. All right. And otherwise, if I go somewhere today, I'm going to go to the Super Bowl. If I go what if, what if some a big bottle of liquor, bunch of food and stuff was to show up? Yeah, I've already, I've already had like three drinks this morning. I got up at four and I was... You damn drunk! You're a fucking yeah. alcoholic. Yeah. Can't be. I can't believe you're drinking alcohol at this time of the morning. I can't believe this, Ricky. Okay, I've been up since four, and it's nine, so that's five hours. So if I got up at ten, that means I couldn't have a drink until what? Three? Well, I'm pretty sure there's no <laughs> rules, but yeah. Well, I mean, it's just a five-hour difference of when I wake up. Like someone that that works daytime, they go home and have a drink. Some of them works graveyard, do they come home and have a drink? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> They're just ready to go to bed and wake up the next day, yeah. I, I've already said I'm not doing any drugs or alcohol past 12 o'clock on Sunday. I don't give a fuck what time the Super Bowl, because I'm going to do as many drugs and alcohol as I can till what, uh, I have like uh, 26 and a half hours to go. Okay. That's complete <laughs> derelict. And after that, I got to okay. tighten up, bro. Huh? I after that, I got to tighten up. I have a job. I have responsibilities. Can't be fucking drunk and. That's right. You know what I, I mean? I talk about getting stoned all the time. I said, would you come drunk? No, because people could smell it on me. I said, so you feel that you are drunk? You can be safe. You're stoned. Hold it in. Hold on, Ricky. Hold it in, you stupid nigger. You fucking installed it, you dumbass. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say the N-word. Um, he's like, the garage door. You broke the garage door. You're dead to me, you asshole. Fuck. I got a fucking... Oh, my God. Ricky. Fucking Jeff just woke up from some kind of drunken frenzy popcorn spamming thing. Thank you, Jeff. So what's the problem?